My name is Perry Berlin. I am a rising junior in biological and agricultural engineering and I'm in the bioprocessing concentration. Today is the undergraduate research symposium. So this summer through the Grand Challenge Scholars Program I have been lucky enough to get to participate in research with the biocarbon utilization and sequestration lab. In order to mitigate climate change, we need to start capturing large amounts of CO2 and storing it away from the atmosphere. To do this, uh, there's plenty of strategies to do this around the world right now, but they're all pretty expensive and land intensive. And so we've developed a new process using composting. Composting is a waste management strategy that's been used for thousands of years to um, handle organic waste. But we can also use it to capture and store carbon dioxide away from the atmosphere. This has kind of gone in two paths this summer. First in the lab, we have set up small-scale reactors that mimic composting conditions to measure how what concentrations of carbon dioxide and oxygen we can get from these composting reactions. Additionally, I went to the NC State composting facility about once a week and learned about all the processes of running a mass-scale composting facility so that one day this technology can be scaled up to a, a mass scale. This slideshow down here has been like a lot of the, the fun adventures from the summer, both in the lab and at the composting facility. Um, I have learned so much through both of these strategies and I'm really excited to, to bring them together. Our technology, which we're calling flipped composting, it has proven itself to be more efficient than the regular composting strategy. As you can see on these graphs here, the concentrations of carbon dioxide are getting up to 20, 30, even higher percentages. And from the regular pile, we're getting about 5% carbon dioxide, which is better because in the atmosphere, it's about 0.04% carbon dioxide, so this is already a higher concentration. But we've proven that we can make it the most efficient. So the next step would be to patent this technology. The patents are currently being filed. And then we are going to, Flip Biosystem is planning to commercialize this technology by bringing, um, by selling both the compost that is being generated as well as the offset carbon credits. And I was super lucky to be able to work with the Grand Challenge Scholars this summer and am very thankful for my mentors and the Interstate Composting Facility for enthusiastically supporting me this summer. My plan is to go to grad school and eventually get a PhD in biological engineering and my dream is to be a professor and continue some kind of carbon capture research.